Hello everyone, myself Dr. Parth Goswami and hope this video will find you all in a good health. So today I am going to teach you about complete blood count. That is a topic from hematology. So we will understand about what is complete blood count, right? So first of all, what do we mean by CBC? That is complete blood count. So it's a series of tests to evaluate the composition and concentration of various cellular component of blood, right? and about 33 parameters included in the complete blood count test this is a very important test you know this particular test done from the edta blood sample and it will be run in the hematological cell counter so this is the edta blood right from which uh, we can do a cbc it has to be run in the cell counter uh, this particular cbc test is a very inexpensive right it's a cheap test cheap blood test and it's a very powerful diagnostic tool in a various hematological conditions like that of anemia cancers etc and the all blood elements produced from the bone marrow right so we can say that complete blood count is a window of the bone marrow function right it's a window it can reflect how bone marrow is working so this is a video showing the uh, cbc how to do the cbc the blood has to be run in the cell counter right all right now friends uh, cbc is useful in the following situation you might have question that why to do the cbc what is the usefulness so it's useful in the following condition the first one is obviously it is useful for the anemia diagnosis and you can classify the anemia according to the cbc you it is helpful to support the hemoglobinopathy diagnosis like that of sickle cell anemia or the thalassemia like that of condition it is helpful to diagnose the iron deficiency anemia and the b12 deficiency like that of nutritional anemia the fourth one is you can diagnose the malaria filaria and leishmania like parasitic infestation of blood the fifth one is to evaluate in a case of thrombocytopenia in the low platelet count to evaluate the further cbc is helpful it's helpful to diagnose the leukocytosis eosinophilia lymphocytosis like that of uh, abnormal differential count condition right the seventh uh, important importance ness is to diagnose the acute and chronic leukemias it is helpful to diagnose the leukemia that is the most important use the eighth one is to evaluate in a case of a fever the ninth one is suppose if you have the lymphocytosis in the cbc lymphocyte count high then you can have probably viral infection right and suppose if the patient is having bacterial infection then in the cbc there will be neutrophilia high neutrophil count right and now we will see which are the parameters uh, that can be de that can be done with the help of cbc test so cbc test include following parameters in the cbc uh, you can estimate your hemoglobin count rbc count hematocrit count right the second one is it's helpful in blood indices calculation especially mcv mch and mchc third one is rdw nucleated red blood cell count percentage and the reticulocyte count estimation the fourth parameter that can be estimated in CBC is immature reticulocyte fraction. You can estimate a total WBC count and the platelet count as well. The fifth one is you can estimate MPV, PCT, PDW, immature platelet fraction estimation, etc. You can do the differential count percentage, neutrophil, lymphocyte, monocyte, eosinophil, basophil percentage calculation can be done, right? The seventh parameter is immature granulocyte count and the hematopoietic progenitor cell count. The eighth one is uh, rare but it can be useful red HE in the some cell counter, right? In this particular, so in this particular image, you can see a uh, various uh, parameters that can be detected in CBC, WBC, RBC, hemoglobin, like that of right. It's an image showing the various parameter estimation in the CBC. It was CBC test. All right now which are the normal values of various parameters of cbc uh, which are the normal value if you know the normal value then and then you can uh, have idea about the abnormal value so the hemoglobin value in normal range is uh, 13 to 16 gram per deciliter for the men and for the woman it is 12 to 15 gram per deciliter 
Hematocrit normal range is 39 to 46 percent for the men and for the woman it is 35 to 45 percent. RBC count normal range is 4.5 to 5.5 million per cubic millimeter. Total WBC count range is 4000 to 11000 per cubic millimeter, right? The fifth one is RDW, RDWCV. The normal range is 11.5 to 14.5. The reticulocyte count normal range is uh, 0.8 to 2.5 percentage. The platelet count normal range is uh, 1.5 lakh to 4.5 lakh per cubic millimeter. The normal range of MPV is 7.4 to 10.4 flamtoliter. The blood indices uh, normal range has been covered in my previous in my old video about the blood indices right you can check the playlist. The neutrophil normal range is uh, in the differential count the no normal range of neutrophil is 40 to 80 percent the lymphocyte normal range is 20 to 40 percent the normal range of eosinophil is only 1 to 6 percent the normal range of monocyte is 2 to 10 percent right 2 to 8 percent and usually in the blood basophil is not seen in the peripheral smear it is not seen right in the cbc it should be zero all right not more than one and always remember that cbc has to be interpreted along with the peripheral blood smear and histogram always so this was all about the complete blood count test hope you have enjoyed